Hey y'all, who's slimming at? I am sick this morning, so if I sound cruddy, I apologize. Believe me when I tell you I feel just as cruddy as I sound. Um, the last video I made, somebody commented on it that they thought perhaps that I was the only person who had not made an Oprah video. And that's, uh, you know, that could be true. Because there was a lot of them. But, uh, the funny thing about it was that I had in the back of my mind ever since the Oprah hoopla started to share a story with you guys about my mama. Uh, in the later years of my mama's life, she was homebound. And the only joy she got out of life just about was watching TV. She sat at home all day and watched TV. She had her certain shows that she loved to watch. She loved the Golden Girls. She loved Gwen Benstein's Money, for God's sake. I don't know why, but she loved that show. She thought it was the most vulgar show on TV. And she'd watch it and she'd say, They long. She just couldn't get over some of the things that they said. And she would complain to us about how vulgar it was. But she never missed an episode of Gwen Benstein's Money. Ever. Um, one of her favorite shows during the day was uh, Oprah. Except she called her Oprah. And the best I could figure out, maybe she called her Oprah because Oprah sounds like okra. And a true southerner doesn't call it okra. We call it okra. We eat a big mess of fried okra. And oh God, it's good too. Mm. Not the kind you buy in a bag already battered. I'm talking about fried in a skillet. And we're battered and oh. Anyway. So Mama watched Oprah all the time, along with the other talk shows too, but Oprah was her favorite, I think. So I was going out one night to listen to some music, and um, Mama said, now this place you're going to tonight, is it a nightclub? I said, well, no, not really, Mama. Technically, it's a beer joint. It just happens to have a stage and have music. She said, well, she said, you be careful now. And I know you'll have your Coke. And, you know, and whenever you sit down now, don't leave that drink sitting nowhere. Because I was watching on Oprah the other day. And uh, she was saying that when you go in one of these places... You carry your drink in your hand all the time. And it, uh, you always try to keep your hand over the top of it. You got to be real careful when you go in these places. So I was like, why, Mama? What, what could happen? What are you talking about? I tell you, these mean people go into these nightclubs and they look for people that ain't paying attention to the drink got this drug and they put it down there and you drink make you don't care what you do it'll absolutely make you don't care what you do so you got to be real careful so I am offering this advice to you my peeps whenever you go into a nightclub if you want to care what you do Always keep your hand over the top of your Coca-Cola. 